Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series of Arthanex Plays Europa Universalis 4 featuring the brand new Common Sense expansion. I'm super excited about this expansion. I've been watching YouTube videos, I've been reading about it online, and it is finally here and we get to play it. So I did a whole bunch of agonizing over what country I should play in the new Common Sense expansion. I went back and forth, I considered a lot of different options. Um, I really want to play with the English monarchy and the new parliament system that is an English monarchy, um, constitutional monarchy, and constitutional republic. But uh, the only way to play that from the start of the game in the regular game is to play as England. And I didn't want to play as England because I just finished off this really long campaign as Scotland. And we performed Great Britain and we kind of did the whole English thing. So I didn't want to do that. Um, and I wanted to play as Protestant, and I thought about playing in a different part of the world, but honestly, I just have more fun playing in Europe. Um, there's just things that you can do in Europe. There's the Holy Roman Empire mechanics, which don't exist anywhere else. I think it's just a more interesting place to play. So, And plus, Europe has really changed. There's a whole bunch of new HRE states. There's the free cities. There's Burgen the new Burgundy. Um, there's the, kind of the new France now that it's united. So I want to see all of that play out. Um, oh, and that's what happened. I accidentally clicked on this province. I was fooling around. I was trying to figure out how I gave myself three more points. Uh, and it's because I accidentally took a province that I didn't mean to take. So I can undo that and give myself that back. Okay. Um, so... As you can see, I've created the province, uh, the nation of Helgoland, um, which is named after the Helgoland Bight, which is named after this little tiny group of islands in the middle of uh, the North Sea, right over here, which I realize are traditionally more associated with Frisia than they are with Hamburg, but I needed a name and it was convenient. Um, and so that's what our nation's going to be. Our coat of arms here I just kind of generated randomly, but um, still had a lot of fun. So I decided to play here um, so that I, I decided to create a custom nation, I should say, uh, so that we could play with the English monarchy without playing England, because English monarchy is one of the government types that you can choose when you create a custom nation. Uh, I decided to create it here because I didn't want to make myself too powerful, because what's the fun in that? Um, but I did want to give myself a, 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 at least a reasonable start. And um, this is a good, I really like this particular location for trade reasons, um, for expansion reasons. You have imperial targets and potentially non-imperial targets eventually you can go after to kind of balance your aggressive expansion a little bit. Um, there's going to be a lot of action. You are coastal, so that opens up a lot of options. Um, it lets you do colonialist stuff, which I enjoy. I usually have a lot of fun with. Um, yeah, so anyway, I decided to take a province away from the Hansa, which is Hamburg. I don't think the game, the so-called integrity of the game, is going to suffer too much by the Hansa losing a province. Um, they're still going to be fairly powerful, though uh, even in the game, they're not usually that big of a force, um, except in the very early game. So I don't think the game will change too much by having a weaker Hansa, um, and hopefully I'll be able to eat them relatively soon. So uh, we're going to we're going to take Hamburg. That's going to be our starting province. Now, uh, for our government, you can see I've named my first ruler Malvern of the Ar Arthanix dynasty, and my heir is going to be Torior. I decided to go with a strong ruler. Um, who's young, who can hopefully rule for a long time, uh, and a weak heir, who's terrible, who we're going to put in charge of our armies, and hopefully he'll die and we'll get a new one um, before our king dies, and we can avoid even, uh, even a little bit of regency. So um, we are Westphalian Catholic. We have the English monarchy government type. Um, we're Western tech group, obviously, and we're Catholic. And... Yeah, those of you who have been watching the multiplayer series might understand why I chose these names. But uh, either way, I'll leave that to you guys to figure out. <laughs> anyway, um, so now for the fun stuff, our ideas. Um, because we're playing in the Holy Roman Empire, there's a couple of things. Now, the last time I created a custom nation, 
I designed it sort of as a super vassalizer with lots of diplomatic reputation uh, and so on and so forth. But they have made vassalizing much, much peacefully, that it, vassalizing that is, much, much more difficult uh, in common sense. So I decided not to bother with the extra diplomatic re reputation. And instead, I took a bunch of aggressive expansion impact reduction because um, with aggressive expansion doubled in the Holy Roman Empire, hopefully this will mean we have less time sitting on our hands. I looked for, um, if I just click on this, I looked for uh, improved uh, relations, you know, like faster relations growth to help counteract the aggressive expansion that we do wind up getting, but I couldn't find it. Apparently that's not an available bonus you can choose. Of course, it probably is. I'm just not seeing it, and I'll get lots of comments telling me what an idiot I am, but I swear I do not see it in here. Um, not that I necessarily would have absolutely chosen it if I could have found it, but I was surprised that it does not appear to even be an option. Um, yeah, I don't see it anywhere. So we're just going to have to settle for aggressive expansion impact minus 15%. Uh, I also starting with a little bit more morale. I think morale is a little bit more important than discipline in the early game. And the later you play, the less morale matters and the more discipline matters. So that's why I have morale early and discipline late. Um, of course, they're both good all the time, but that's just, I don't have any numbers to back that up. That's just my impression. Um, but anyway, uh, there's so technology costs. I think this is a good idea. Um, with technology costs and war exhaustion reduction, we basically can forget the innovative idea group since those are the two bonuses that it gives you that are actually worth relevant. So, which is fine because I don't really want to take innovative. Um, so, we're just going to take those two instead. Uh, core creation costs hopefully will save us also a bunch of monarch points. Accepted culture threshold is really good when you combo it with the humanism idea group, which I always like to take. So we're going to stick that in there. And then we have some just general good ones. Development costs, this is brand new, but it seems amazing. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, and that's everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to choose our new nation, Helgoland. Uh, and click play. So while the game loads up, let me just, oh, it's already loaded. It didn't take very long. Let's switch map modes here. And let's take a look at what we started with. We've got 5,000 men. And if we look at our force limit, our force limit is six, which is pretty tiny. Um, as you can see, that is enough to siege Stade, Lundberg, Sax Lundberg. But if we wanted to siege Lubeck, we would need more, we would need 3,000 more troops. Um, if we wanted to siege, and six would barely be enough to siege Bremen. We did start with four light ships and two transports, though, which is kind of nice, I guess. Although I don't really foresee using the transports anytime soon. Um, the economy scene is probably not super reliable at this point in the game, but we should pick some rivals. The Han so, just curious. Yeah, the Hans like, get lost their core on this province when we chose it, so we don't have to. But they still rivaled us, so that's going to be a potential problem. Uh, they're probably going to be our biggest, yeah, who are they? They start um, allied with a bunch of people. They're probably going to be our biggest competition early on. So who are their enemies? Brunswick, Pomerania, and Verdun. So uh, Verdun is going to be probably my target at the start of the game. Um... Denmark is friendly to me. They're probably a pretty useful ally to have against the Hansa. I'll eventually be fighting them, but for now, um, would they just accept an alliance right away? They would. I'm pretty tempted to do that, because they start with Sweden and Norway, of course. While they probably won't keep them for long, that is important. Brandenburg is neutral. 
Brunswick is friendly. I could probably ally with them. And of course, Austria is the big one. I'm definitely going to want to try and ally with them as soon as I possibly can. So that hopefully, unless they change the mechanic, I can take territory in the HRE without having to deal with that uh, unlawful territory massive penalty. So we are going to start off by um, offering an alliance to Denmark and offering an alliance to Brunswick. It's going to be our opening diplomatic moves. Um, yeah, I don't want to form alliance with Verdun. Uh, so yes, there's form German nation. Well, I can't do it if I'm the emperor. Interesting. All right, well, I'll remember that. Um, form Hanover. If I'm an elector, I can form Hanover or form Westphalia. Uh, if I'm an elector, hmm, interesting. I will have to look and see if either of those actually change my government or my traditions. Because if they do, then I won't take them. Um, let's see. I can probably solidify papal relations. That seems like something I can do relatively easily. Uh, oh, and because there's no debate in Parliament, and I am an English monarchy, let's take a look at this. Um, of these, let's see, this one's pretty good, that one's potentially good, but this one with the two mercantilism seems like it's the best, so let's grab that. Um, and they want me to lose five Navy tradition. How much did I start with? Start with 8.9. Well, I don't really care about Navy tradition. So, all right, is there a button for Parliament? Here it is. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, then we are going to, um, let's see, it's been a while since I played this, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, let's, we have 4,000 infantry, 1,000 cavalry. So let's build another infantry to bring us up to our force limit. What's the, these guys protecting trade in Lubeck. Uh, our merchants, where are our merchants? Rhineland and Saxony. If I look at the trade node, Saxony, uh, the, sorry, this is Rhineland and Saxony. Um, see 1.1 all right I think I'm happy with that for now uh, we let's take let's wait hire any advisors oh yeah rivals so uh, we're gonna run a rival Verden because that's who we're gonna go after first um, we want, probably want to rival these guys because we're going to go after them second. And there's Lundberg. We could rival them or we could rival the Hansa. Um, we're not sure, can never be sure when our target of opportunity is going to come. Uh, they've already rivaled us, so let's go ahead and rival them, and we will not rival the Hansa right away, since the Hansa are too, probably too powerful for us to go after. Although, rivaling the Hansa, let's take a look. Brunswick, who are you rivaled with? Um, Munster, the Hansa, and Cologne. So it would help us out in our relations with Brunswick. Denmark, <laughs> Denmark rivaled England, interesting, it's not going to help us out there, 
Austria, <laughs> Venice, England, and Burgundy. Interesting choices. Uh, England looks like they have a lot of enemies. Denmark, France, Austria, and Castile. But not Burgundy. Oh, they rivaled Burgundy, but Burgundy didn't rival them. That would be interesting if England and Burgundy were able to form an alliance. Um, hmm. Well, do we want to rival Brunswick or not? Or, sorry, Lundberg or... Munster, the Hansa, and Cologne. Let's see. Um, well, these guys are already friendly with us, as are these guys. I think I'm going to rival the Hansa. Those, oh, they're allied with the Hansa. Yeah, I think I'm going to rival the Hansa because they're going to be they're kind of be going to be a long-term rival for us, and they've already rivaled us, so that's okay. All right, and then uh, oh yes, we need to make our heir into a general. He's one zero one. It's all right. The whole point is to get him killed. All right, Toriar, you're going to go off and die gloriously, hopefully. All right, so let's unpause. And we'll keep it on speed one just for a few days. Denmark accepted our alliance offer, and Brunswick accepted our alliance offer. Uh, and we got an alliance offer from East Frisia. Um, hmm. Hmm. East Frisia. I'm going to say no, East Frisia. I don't think I want your help. Let's improve relations with Austria. Oh, we can get a royal marriage with Austria right away. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll start improving our relations with the Pope. Okay, unpause. Um, and then we'll start improving relations with Austria. Unless they are willing to accept an alliance right away. Almost. Um, all right, bump it up to speed two. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, I'll accept a royal marriage with Denmark. It's a little bit risky because I might want to fight them pretty soon. But, and there's an alliance with Austria. Beautiful. Um, let's see, they're still neutral. Hopefully they'll turn to at least defensive here. Let's fabricate a claim on Verdun. Or Stade, I should say. <laughs> or Verden. Uh, no, sorry, Denmark. I'm not going to give you my trade power. Yes, the Kingdom of Italy will be back. We'll leave the Empire unless something is done. Fortunately, I don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, am I going to get this message every time now? All right, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to change that to icon. Uh, that's going to be too annoying. Yeah, I'll change it to icon. Friesland became a free city. Gosh, even that might be too annoying. Uh, let's take a quick look at our message settings. And I'm just going to set it to Europe. All right, even this is going to be too annoying. All right, we'll just have to live without that. And I hope that they fix that, because I really like that, that message setting. But if it's going to pop up every time 
one of my trade fleets moves, that's going to be way too annoying. All right, so we got our claim being fabricated. Um, pretty low chance of discovery. Um, so you're still friendly. You're still friendly. Austria, what did, did you? All right, you're at least defensive. Okay, so 10 development, 5 development. Yeah, those two are definitely going to be our first targets. Who did you ally with? The Teutonic Order, Sex, Lumerg, and Pomerania. You allied with Brandenburg and Verdun. Who would I rather fight among those set of allies? Um, what if, hmm. So allied with each other, Brunswick's going to be able to get involved no matter which one of you I attack. Uh, I guess I'd rather fight Brandenburg. Denmark got rebels right away. That's not good. All right, let's go up to speed three. Since we're going to wait until we fabricate this claim before we do anything. Um, all right, let's just take a look at our economy tab here. Um, we actually have a fairly decent income. Let's go ahead and drop army maintenance. It's going to be at least another year, and I could stand to make a little money. Can't afford to hire any advisors. Uh, do we want to set a focus? I don't think so. I think I'll just leave it the way it is. Um, grasslands, woods. Uh, the interest so much lives as the hammock have come to make a direct contribution to the state. To convince any MPs that are still opposed, or at least compensate us for any such costs we have had up till now. Gain two ducats. I'll take it. It's not a lot, but obviously I'll take it. Okay. What's our reward for this mission anyway? Um, oh. 10 years of plus 0.5 papal influence a year. That seems pretty good. Moscow be declared war in Kazan. All right, almost done fabricating our first claim. I'm going to want to fabricate one over here, though, before I go to war as well. Hopefully, we won't get caught. Getting caught can slow you down, but quite a bit uh, in the early game in the HRE because it's so much. Aggressive expansion. All right, let's fabricate a claim on Lorenberg. So, yep. Austria has disputed succession, and Denmark has disputed succession. House von Wittelsbark. Um, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, ooh, this has no negatives anymore. Um, some percent siege ability or but twenty percent fort defense. Um, ten years. This is likely to be to matter in our war. I think I'm going to take the fort defense since we only have one province, and it's going to be hard for us to defend it. Uh, you build up over your force limit, huh? Hmm. You probably saw that I fabricated a claim. 
Am I at my maximum manpower? I am. You know, I think I'm going to do that too. I still don't have a leader. Of course, you can easily assign one. Bohemia declared war on Brandenburg. That pulled you into that war. That makes me much more likely to declare war on you then. When I finish fabricating that claim. Brunswick, who else are you allied with? Iceland. Denmark. You're just allied with me. And of course you have Holstein as a vassal. Time run declared war upon Connet. Early tensions are starting. We'll have finished that Papal Relations quest in a couple of months. We'll have our claim a couple of months after that. King. Let's see. Who else am I going to be fighting? Well, not you. Uh, Magdeburg. Where are they? Magdeburg. They're out of coring range. Um, so what is the deal with this war? Defender against Bohemian, cross west of Potsdam. Bohemia is attacking there. Okay. Ooh, that's not good. Um, let's just take a quick look at my coalition map mode with that. Yeah. Minus 10, minus 7, minus 9, minus 9. So that's like three years of aggressive expansion from getting caught. Four years of aggressive expansion from getting caught. Um, okay, we finished that. Um, Let's just take a quick look. All right, we've got plus seven plus six minus four minus seven. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to really be careful here about what we take. So um, let's go ahead and increase our military maintenance. Drop it down to speed two. Um, an army equal to a larger than the hands of eight. In time minus 15% regiment cost minus 10%. I don't really want that reward. I would love that reward. I don't really care about that one. All right, I don't need to improve relations with the papal state right now. Let's go ahead and improve relations with Austria. You guys got an heir. Did you get an heir? Not yet. Um, Back up to speed three for a couple months until our army morale recovers. Uh, we should, I don't think their navy is going to be an issue. Burgundy declared war upon Provence. Interesting. We got what, like two more months? Oh, that is awesome. Definitely want to lose the prestige. Poor Torior. Alas, we hardly knew ye. Um, 
in general. Wow, that general is much better. It's going to slow us down from the first military tech, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, let's drop that. He has no shock, which is kind of unfortunate. But two maneuvers pretty good. All right, we're at maximum morale. We declare war on you. Denmark will not join us. Why not? They're in debt. <laughs> um, what if I was to declare war on you? Uh, even less likely. And all of his allies would come in. Maybe we should wait for Denmark to get at themselves out of debt. Like they're dealing, they're helping their vassal deal with peasant rebels and they're losing. Well, come on Denmark. The whole point in this alliance was that so that you would help me with these wars. Um, can I beat them without them? It's seven, fourteen versus thirteen, and they have Brandenburg, who's currently being wrecked by Bohemia. Sweden came and dealt with the rebels. I could send him a gift. Hmm. Did you peace out? No, that war's still going on. Nothing's occupied yet. That war is probably going to go on for a while. Um, um, let's go ahead and improve relations with Denmark for a bit. Already improving relations with Austria. Hoping that they'll flip to friendly. Doesn't seem likely. But it is possible. Checking on this. Hmm. Oh, well, this is going to this is going to slow us down on our own expansion plans, isn't it? Who's Sweden? Uh, who did Sweden manage to ally with? Just Novgorod. Uh, well, we should definitely send our boats home. We do not want to fight Sweden's navy.
Their attitude flipped to domineering. Does that affect their desire to declare war? It does. It is possible that even attempting to ally with Denmark was a mistake. <laughs> of course, that royal marriage with them is going to come in handy about now. How's this war going? Pretty poorly. Brandenburg will no longer honor their alliance. Um, so it's going to be Sex Lundberg, Verdun, Magdeburg against me and Brunswick. That is a battle I can win. I think. I hope. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Even though I'm already in this other war. Um, so let's declare war. Let's go attack these guys. Brunswick's going to come and help. <laughs> My morale advantage is kicking in. Not rolling very well. There's Brunswick to help out. Alright. So, this army's morale is totally gone. Let's go ahead and. I think we have to worry about Sweden. Um, hmm, I think I'm actually going to buy my stability up and then take a free stability to get to plus two. And Brunswick will hopefully be able to finish them off. Um, Hmm, I'd like to go help support that army. Oh, you're going... You are coming for me, huh? In March, if I go there, I will also get there on the 31st of March. Is there a river? No. I'm going to fall back to Hamburg and recover my morale there. Now, you're going to go try and beat that army. I'm going to go, is there a river here? No. Hmm, would I rather fight? I guess it's minus one either way. What's your maneuver? I think I'd fight rather fight in my home territory. Oh, you left. Good. I'm going to wait for another morale tick before I go after that army. Brunswick's army is going to lose that battle. But if they do enough damage... Let's see, that's woods. Um, they do enough damage to him? I don't think so, though. I don't think they did. So 
I'll just go siege thought A. Uh, how's my ally doing? Pretty good. Yeah, they lost their alliance with Brandenburg, which is good. I didn't want to fight Brandenburg. All right, well, so far this war is going fairly well. I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, as this is the first episode in a new series, your likes and comments are especially helpful. But either way, I hope you all have a terrific day.